Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand how to access the Azure Data Lake storage using the access key in Azure Databricks. So let us go to the Databricks workspace and understand the same. In this video, we are going to understand how to access the Azure Data Lake storage. We can access the Azure Data Lake storage using the session scoped authentication. Here we have to use the Databricks Notebook. There are three ways to access the Azure Data Lake storage using the session scoped authentication. Using the storage access keys, using the shared access signature and using the service principle. So this is all about the session scoped authentication. We can access the Azure Data Lake storage using the cluster scoped authentication. As well as we can use Azure Active Directory pass through authentication. And we can also use the Unity Catalog to access the Azure Data Lake storage. In this video, we will understand how to access the Azure Data Lake storage using the storage access key. Let us go to Azure portal and see the practical example. So here I am on the Azure portal. Go to Azure Databricks service. This is the workspace that we have created earlier. Launch the workspace. I'll open another Azure portal here. First, we have to create the Gen2 storage account. Go to storage accounts. This storage account is created while creating the Databricks workspace. Let us create one more storage account. Click on create. Here we have to specify all these details. First, we will specify the details under the basics. Subscription, pay as you go. The resource group databricks-rg let us specify the storage account name gen2 storage this is not available i'll specify a random number and this is available region i'll go with the west us here i am not going to provide the primary service performance we will keep it as default standard and the redundancy we will go with the geo redundant storage so this is all about the basics tab now go to advanced tab here we will keep all the options as default under the security here we have to enable the hierarchical name space this is important to create the gen2 storage account if this option is not enabled then it will create a blob storage keep all other things as default Networking, go with the default options, data protection, here also we will keep all the options as default, then the encryption, keep it default, tags, we are not going to specify any tags, now review plus create, validation in progress, validation successful, here you can see all the details that we specified, hit on create initializing the deployment now submitting the deployment and the deployment is in progress now it will take few minutes to create the storage account so i'll fast forward the process so the storage account is created successfully go to resource this is the storage account we have created gen2 storage 248 here you will get all the details about the account that we have created, resource group, location, primary and secondary location, subscription and so on. Now go to containers. Here we will create a container. Name of the container is demo. Create. Container is created successfully. In this container, we will upload a file. Hit on upload. Browse for files. Here, I'll upload the CSV file, automobile price data. Upload. And file is uploaded successfully. Now, we have to access this file under the demo container inside this generation to storage account. And we will access this file 
from here from the databricks notebook let us confirm compute is running then go to workspace users this is the user let us create a notebook connect the cluster let us give the name name to the notebook access azure data lake storage using access key access azure data lake using the access key i'll open the azure documentation for the same i'll give the link in the description as well connect to azure data lake storage gen 2 and blob storage now scroll down we have to access the storage account using the account key copy this code and paste here i'll specify the steps as well this will be a text cell so specify percentage md access azure data lake storage using access key this is the step one setting the spark config then we will list the files from the demo folder and we will read the data so this is the step one setting the spark config here you will get the code let us specify the details here we have to specify the storage account name this is the storage account name and after that we have to specify the access key as of now don't worry about the secrets we will see in upcoming tutorials to get the access key go to storage account then go to access keys this is under the security plus networking and here we have the key key 1 and key 2 you can select any of these click on show and copy the access key and specify here we have to specify under the quotes and execute let us move ahead so step 1 is done setting the spark config now we have to list the files from the demo folder go to azure documentation access azure storage here we can use dbutils.fs.ls as well as we can use the read method from the spark let us see the first one copy paste here we have to specify the container name the demo container then we have to specify the storage account name abfss the container name at the rate the storage account name then dbfs.core.windows.net execute here you can see the file automobile price data let us use the display command here this is the path that we specified name of the file automobile price data dot csv size and the modification time let us read this file we will use this spark dot read method csv first we have to specify the path of the file here we have to specify the file name go to containers under the storage account the demo container 
let us copy the file name and paste spark.read.csv first we specified the path of the file header as true and we are using the show method let us execute let us use the display command here as well let us delete the show method and execute again great so this is the data from the file this file automobile price data dot csv these are the column names and these are the observations so this is how we can access the azure data lake storage using the access key first we have to set the spark configuration here we have to specify the storage account name and the access key you will get this code here under the account key spark.config.set then we are displaying the files under the demo container and we are reading the same thank you so much for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel